doing a college essentials video. I know you're like midsummer, no one wants to think about college and online classes and all that stuff, but it is very important and I want to give you guys like enough time to get all this stuff. I kind of learned what I didn't and what I did need during this first year of college that I just finished. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So I have my iPad right here. I'm just gonna kind of go through the list that I made. So the first thing I recommend is a stapler. Um, staplers are really, really important, especially in your classes, because a lot of times your professors won't have staplers to staple your guys' papers or your essays or whatever you guys turn in. So they always try to make you guys staple your own papers. Highly recommend these are like $3 or something like that at Walmart, and it comes with like an extra pack of staples. The next thing I have is a water bottle. So this water bottle I use since I got it in February, but I had another hydro flask um, that I would use prior. I would sometimes forget it in my classes, so just make sure you guys don't leave it in one of your classes. I did that before and I got so scared that I was not gonna get it back, but luckily I did and the teacher saved it for me. You guys don't need to get this big of a water bottle. You guys don't need to get a hydro flask or anything that ex like expensive. You can get like a, like a water bottle from Ross for like five bucks. This is really a necessity because you're gonna be walking around campus all day. And especially if you're there all day, you wanna have something to drink and hydrate yourself with. So the next thing, it might be a little bit of a stretch for some people, but is a laptop. So I just have this Chromebook. Not everybody's gonna be able to afford a laptop. I know like I have a lot of friends who have MacBooks and all that stuff and I can afford that. So I know that it's hard for some people to afford um, laptops, but if you guys get a scholarship, I highly recommend putting scholarship money to your laptop because laptops are kind of a necessity for college. It kind of helps you with the, when you're doing your homework on campus or off campus. Some of my professors had us bring in our own laptops, but luckily at my school, they actually provide laptops there too. So for some people, they were able to borrow from the school. The next thing I have is pens and pencils and highlighters and all that stuff. So all your like writing utensils. I am a little bit obsessed with colored pens. So I have colored pens and markers all in here, but I use these super tips from Crayola and I use those to like um, draw out my notes because I am very artsy with my notes, but you guys don't need those obviously if you guys aren't like that. My iPad just fell. But I am really organized and I like to keep my stuff color coded. So for like one day, I will use like a red marker to like do my title and put out the main points. And then I use like my red pen to put on the subtitles and I use my black pen to go in and do the actual details of the notes. But I do like using at least colored pens because it helps me organize things in my notes and also in my agenda. Highlighters are important because a lot of professors have you annotate things. Um, I also have a dry erase marker in here because sometimes my professors forget their own dry erase markers and they always ask someone in class for them so I like to just have it just for them just in case they need it. The next thing you need is a scan is scantron. So these are the ones that most of my classes use. I just got a pack of these from um, my school's campus but I'm pretty sure they sell them on Amazon that you guys can get. I use these for a lot of my midterms and a lot of my finals. A lot of professors use the 882, I believe that's, yeah, 882E scantrons. It's the green ones. The next thing I have is an agenda. Um, I, this is my agenda for this upcoming year. I have my old one over there, but I use an agenda for every year ever since high school. I can keep track of my homework and what I have and have not done. So like I color code my things, like I said earlier. So this is kind of like, you guys can't see that, but it says like important homework, quiz, test. Um, my youth council, Sac State, family, my sorority stuff, YouTube, work, all that stuff. So I basically just plan out everything on here. Um, homework assignments are right on the daily page. So like on this area, I'll go in and I'll write math 31, calculus, homework, worksheet or something like that. So this is gonna be really necessary for me this upcoming year because it's gonna be online for the first semester. And I hate online classes and I hated doing them last semester when quarantine started, but I have to go through it unfortunately. But that's gonna really help me keep track of when to go onto my canvas and when to look at assignments and when to finish my assignments by. The next thing I have is 
post-it notes. So I just bought these at Target yesterday because they're like a dollar each and I usually just get two or three sometimes, but I only really need two. Um, I use these to stick them into textbooks when I don't want to write in them. I can like write notes and like save the pages and go back later for when I need to actually write my essays. So I find this helpful for when I'm picking out quotes or evidence in my textbooks or my books that I use. Um, but I also use these when I need reminders on the front of my agenda, like I'll stick them on the cover page just so like when I'm looking at my homework or I'm pulling out notebooks, I can go ahead and just see, oh, okay, well something's on there. So something happened today that I need to remember. Next thing I have is Advil, so I don't have it with me, but I usually carry around like an Advil um, or a leave or something like that in my backpack just because i get headaches a lot so chapsticks is important my lips get dried you're out in the sun your campus is outside you're going to be walking around campus and my lips get dried easy so i like to put carmex on my lips i usually use this other one i don't know what it's called next i have lotion so lotion is really important because again you're out in the sun your skin gets dry or if you just happen to forget lotion in the morning to rub on like your knees if you're wearing shorts or on your elbows I like to bring this or leave this in my backpack just in case if it is one of those days when I, when I wear shorts and I leave the house without putting on lotion because that happens a lot to me. Next is index cards. So I actually use these index cards, the like bigger ones for my nieces and nephews when I like homeschool them or I tutor them at home. But the smaller ones I use for myself. I use them, not a lot of people do, but I use them when I want to um, make like a cheat sheet for my classes test. Like I'll put in everything that I need if like professors let us use like a 3x5 card these are usually the ones that they allow is a 3x5s um but if not I use these to like memorize words or important events and I like kind of just do like flashcards. next um is pepper spray um pepper spray is something that I use I got this for my birthday from my co-worker so I got it because I wanted a um keychain pepper spray so I can use it when I walk around campus because I had a nighttime class last semester and I was always like kind of worried about things and like that's kind of sad that I have to be worried about that kind of thing but stuff happens and I rather have be safe than sorry so I have this I also want to get the um the jabbing one <laughs> I don't know what they're called so I have tissues so my big gave me these tissues I've used two of them and this is my last one that I have in that pack um, I have allergies so my nose gets runny so I like to have these just to in case when I want to like blow my nose or if my makeup smeared underneath my eye I like use a tissue and I'll clean up myself. So these are really important if you have allergies like I do. And the last thing I recommend especially with the upcoming year if your school is going back on campus is sanitizer. I have this one and I have... So I have this Bath & Body Works one which I really don't use that much but if you guys don't have these you can use these but i think these ones are more reliable especially with everything going on right now in the world with covid and all that stuff i highly re recommend getting a sanitizer from when you go back to school if your school is going back on campus or you have some classes on campus um, just to be safe that is it for my video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you guys have learned a couple of essentials that you guys might need for the upcoming school year i will see you guys on my next video on thursday bye guys